church in um, Fort and Worth. Keep in mind, this is not T.D. Oh, Jakes Church. Dang. This is this is a, an off friend, a father. No, it's, 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 it's his church, but he's not he's not the pastor. Right, he's, he's not the not pastor of that church. church. Is what I'm but saying. But baby, that pastor of that church did not call her. They did not let her mother speak to to, to, to the pastor, and it. Just go watch it, y'all. We're not going to get too deep into it because I don't want to feel like yeah. you know, disrespecting the church or anything like that. I, I got the like, stuff I that you want. I got the things that you need. Because I'm more than enough to make you to your name. Because I'm the mother of the Hey, 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 hey,
you know, put a Dora on and Dora covered all that up. So ever since then, I've been like, oh, bitch, I love a Dora. And, and it, oh, and then, and it do no, it was even better that Patty was wearing Dora, so it worked out perfect. But the only thing I hate about it now is every time I wear a Dora, even if I'm trying to be a hoochie fight, it's like, girl, you got on your patty wig. But then I don't give a fuck. This is my Dora. Dora never got a style. People were wearing Doras forever. And she comfortable. I don't know what's going on, Jay. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. I think they're finna add me on, Jet. Or would I be gonna skip up? Jet! Ada, if you're uh, thank watching, you, um, are you on your cell phone? Ooh. Also, everybody, everybody to be on their cell phones. I'm not on my cell phone. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm on my uh, tab with my Jet. Y'all see my costume? Oh, yeah. I know I'm getting hot in this drag. You know? <laughs> I'm trying to be nice and be in drag. This is something. I'm doing this extra. I didn't have to be in drag tonight. I'm just doing this extra. And I'm trying to be cute, but it's not this shit. We're trying to add you in, Ari. Baby, you better add me in. I'm supposed to be on that Let me tell y'all something real quick. The bigger motherfucking cheese is in the building. That is a viral sensation that is uh, a sensation that y'all need to watch out for. The bigger cheese. <gasps> it, it, yes, the bigger no. cheese. He's been on everything. American Idol. Is, he's Get been on it. American Idol. He's been on... I don't um, know who that is, but uh, hey, Jess. Uh, X Factor. Uh, thank America. you, Jess. He's got hey. talent. He's got so much. I know what like, thing. They don't come out. Boy, he's amazing. Which page? I'm trying to add the Barbie page. You better add me, ho. Yeah. You said seven thirty, bitch. Oh, you got two minutes. They got two minutes. Two minutes before I start getting lit, la la. And lighty thine ass up, cause I got things I wanna do. I know, why I love the bigger cheese too. Jen, 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 I wanna pack. Oh Lord. Turn to see who I can add. Turn it to who? What's going on? What do you mean? Uh, you so I don't know. Hey there, what's going on? <laughs> Hi, you guys. Hi, everyone out there. How you doing? I'm good, and you guys, thanks for having me on. Of course. What are you doing? doing? <laughs> he's, he's gagging over here. He Hi, baby. Oh, I love you too. How are you? I just, I, um, when I, can, can, I just want you to kiss my cheek when I, yes. Just that part. <laughs> you better eat, girl. You better eat. Yes. Y'all, <laughs> I don't drink, so I gotta smoke. <laughs> I do what I do. Oh, thank you. I threw this all real quick for you guys. I didn't know. You... Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so I'm so humbled and 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 thankful for you. Like you don't understand. Like listen, I just got into RuPaul's Drag Race about like two seasons ago. Mm -hmm. And, um, actually, I got into it when they did the, when they did the, um, the challenge where, uh, who was this girl that she portrayed you in the, uh, uh Nina. Yes, when she did you with it. So, when she did you, she intrigued me, like, okay, who is, who is who she? Is uh -huh. Who is Jazz and Madison? So, I went back, and I watched your whole season. Uh-huh. I'm not just telling you, the reason why you were the first... <laughs> RuPaul Drag Race on my show is because I fell in absolute love with you. Oh, thank you. When I talk about real, when I talk about talent, when you talk about, when you talk real. about, like, you want to talk about royalty, I mean, you give oh all God. of that. You feel what I'm saying? 
Oh, uh, thank I you. I really appreciate that because you're a really example of this show. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. I've been doing this stuff for a long time, so thank you so much. That felt good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I'm always live on my Instagram, which is Miss Jasmine Masters, M S Jasmine Masters, and I'm going to start doing like a a live thing like this sooner or later um, on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube very soon. Just working out some things to make sure everything rolled the way I wanted to roll, and right, yeah, right. <laughs> and look for me more videos on uh, YouTube. I'm going to do some more. I have something to say. I get a lot of requests for those and. It's been yeah, a blessing yeah, with those. You, always have you know what? I watch you all the time, even with when you was just playing, when you were, uh, you had went out and you was playing the video game, the card game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and that's what I love, because it's real. Raw. It's just real. Mm -hmm. It's real cut. Exactly. It's just real shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's just real shit. And even when I watch your lives and stuff like that, like when I watch your things, the car ride with... Um, uh, with T.S. Madison and mm -hmm. other interviews that you do, uh, when you do your own lives, it, it, it's just how raw and uncut you are. That you just, you just, you just, you, you read all yeah. that. You just don't answer. It is real. You don't. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and it's so appreciated because you give us such a wonderful good name. And oh, like, thank you so much. I well, try to. I, I thank you just for that. Grace. Oh, thank what, you. What, 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 what got you? Let, let's start from the beginning. Yeah, what got you into drag? Uh, trying to, my friend, they was having a contest at a club in San Diego where I'm from, and they was having a Patti LaBelle contest, and whoever won, won two tickets. And my friend was like, oh, bitch, you're going to win them tickets. And I never done drag, and I just took it as nothing. Well, the day came, and I did it, and I won, and ever since then, I've been doing drag. It just I being like a bliss. Right. Yeah, I never even wanted to do drag. I never wanted to be a drag queen. Never wanted to wear women's clothes. None of that. I never seen drag in my in my future. I seen like spotlights and stages and stuff, but I never seen me being a female impersonator or a drag queen. I never seen that. So how did you how did you handle the transition from not even wanting to be in the realm of this industry and like the the things that people say or the, the obstacles? How how did you overcome that from the transition from being who you were prior to now, Miss Matt? Well, back then it was a lot easier. You know, I feel it was more uh, it was a little more relaxed and a little more smooth back in the '90s when I started doing drag. Um, and it wasn't a lot of, it wasn't so many girls at the time. Like now we have so many. Then it was just a few of us. And when I got on the scene, it wasn't a lot of young black girls like me that was dancing. All the girls was older and it was other places, but they wasn't in the California area. So, and by my drag mother being in Detroit and she showed me a lot of drag. So that gave me a lot of leeway on a lot of other girls because they didn't really have that training of having a drag mother. So by me right. having that and already being like a performer from high school and junior, um, elementary and stuff, it was just, it all kind of worked out. And when I started making money at doing it, I said, hold up. <laughs> I don't know if I want to wake up. Anymore. I don't know if I'm going to wake up anymore at this, you know, this eight, you know, this eight to five and be asking people to pay this bill. When I could get in drag for two hours and make the same amount of money and sleep and watch the Young and the Restless. Hello. So, you about it. yeah, baby. So at that point, I was with someone and I was like, baby, look, I done made what I make in two weeks and four nights. So I'm going to give this a run and see what happens. And then after that, I may quit. Even though we both was working and we had good money and I was doing drag, it was, the money wasn't the situation, but I started thinking like, Bitch, you racking in some motherfucking money. So <laughs> I had to put it, you know, one and one plus two times two is four. I'm yeah, I'm about to get my ass up out of here. So it has been my career now. <laughs> it's been my life now for I think about twenty one years now. Wow. Yeah, I think I started I think it was I was like sixteen 
maybe going into 17 or maybe like the, I just, I was like 16, maybe going into 17 when I started. And I'm 41. Well, I'll be 41 in October. I'm not gonna tell your age, but honey, you was a lady. Oh, I love it. Oh, I, baby, I love telling my age. My age, I love it. I enjoy it. No, you can, baby. Oh, no, I don't mind. You can ask me anything. I, I'm not ashamed of anything. Because I'm asking how old are you, Miss Matt? I am 40, but I'll be 41 October 16th. Yeah. Look at the face. Hey, yeah, they got to stay. I'm, I'm, I'm just real happy and I'm real blessed. So that helps a lot. That hey, really did. That you are. That you definitely yeah. are. So let's fast forward. Okay. You get on RuPaul. Mm-hmm. What's your mindset then? About fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> because. Yeah, because, well. When they first did season one, they had access. Oh, I don't have any fingernails because I'm not on stage. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> I don't want nobody to touch that. She had no fingernails on. Well, bitch, I ain't on stage. Oh. But, but, okay. But, um, because the first season they had came to our group, which is the Dream Girls Review, with me, Morgan, Delta, Chad, uh, Raja. Well, Raja was filming with Tyra Banks and Tom Model then. But there's a few of us. Um, that was that we already worked together, and they wanted us to be the first episode because it was going to be the first run. So they thought since it was already a group of us, they could just go ahead and you know do it. But all of us had stuff to do. Well, after that went on, you know, I tried out for the past four years, maybe five years. So I'm thinking, okay, well, goddamn, when they gonna let me on? They see me perform, they you know everything about me, but I didn't take it into heart. I just kept saying it wasn't my time yet. So when they finally said, bitch, it's your time, I said, oh, no, ma'am. You know, <laughs> I was excited. I was really excited to get on there. You know, I was like, wow. But see, during that time, I realized, and I realized this after the fact, that I was so in my mindset on set, setting goals for myself and knocking them out until it became a checkpoint for me. It was like, okay, I did this now. Let me move to the next. Because that's what I have always done, like, for my career. And once I started, like, being on my own and got out of my relationship, I was still in my early 20s. But I didn't want to move back home. I wanted to be a man and be grown, you know. So everything was like, this is your goal. You have to set your goal. So once I set my goal to be on the show, I was like, okay, I'm here. Now let me go to my next goal. And it just, you know, then I was just knocking all my goals out. And now they have any more goals. And I'm like, oh, shit, like, that was the goal right there. You know, so I was like, wow. You know, I did the movie with um, Ice Cube and uh, Tracy Morgan and Cat Williams yes. uh, first Sunday. I was Mordecai. And yes. I've seen, I seen that happen before, like, in my vision. But when I knocked it out, I was like, oh, I knocked it out. And I went on to the next thing. And I didn't even tell my family I'd done it because it was something that I'd done. To me, it was just work. I'm just working. You know, this is what I had to do because I said this is going to be my living. So I had no way to turn around and back out. So by this point, I'm 36, 37 years old. I'm, they ain't hiring nobody to be, you know, doing too much of my age unless you know all that shit. I don't know Excel and PowerPoints and all that. So <laughs> it's going to be weird to tell. <laughs> you You know, so. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry, babe. When I, when I watched you on uh, RuPaul, you was raw and uncut. Now, what, did you get in trouble for a lot of the things that you said? Or how was how is that at background scenes where it's like, are they, oh, no, don't say that. Or go ahead and say that, say that. Because when I tell you, baby, you was you was real. And that's what I love when I watch reality because I'm a reality head. Mm -hmm. And when I watched that, it was just like, I just felt like it was really you. It wasn't for TV. It wasn't for mm -hmm. whatever case you be. So what was that about? Well, <clears throat> my, what it is is with me, I'm, 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 I'm honest to a fault, I've realized. And a lot of things that I may say, um, like, it's always, I'm not, I'm never out to hurt anyone or bring anyone down. That's not my, that's never been me because I don't feel good by doing that. Um, but when I was saying things, I was saying it, but I always had something 
positive after what I said. Like, for instance, like Trixie makeup. She was like, girl, I'm trying to change my makeup, but I'm trying to do something different. And I'm like, no, bitch, because every time we come up, your makeup is the same fucking way. And, you know, it stops there. But let me tell you what's going to happen once we leave. We're going to go out, and you're going to see everybody copying your makeup because you're so new and fresh. Nobody ever seen that. So don't change it because you're going to have a lot of copycats, just like Raven. You're going to be the next Raven. That didn't, that didn't get air. That only, you know, the part that make it really good yeah, TV part. got, yeah. Cause I, yeah, because yeah, I never would try to bring somebody down. Because I don't get no joy from that. That don't make me feel good. Hell, I make them cry. My dumb ass is in the corner crying. So that's <laughs> because I'm just so sensitive that way. I don't want to make nobody feel bad. Right. Before we continue, I want to just let sure um, you have a lot of fans talking and you have a lot of people uh, commenting on what you're saying and stuff. Um, shout out to Chelsea. She's from she's from Wales, UK. UK. Hi, Chelsea from the UK. Like I'm glad y'all can see because I can't see shit on this phone. I want I want everybody uh, that's watching to make sure that you are. Liking, you are commenting, you are sharing. Make sure Please. you're out here. We got Jasmine's the one and only Jasmine okay. Masters from RuPaul's Drag Race. Hi, Jay. And that is. <laughs> and you know what? And I, I want to say this because that doesn't define her, RuPaul's Drag Race, because she's been, she's doing, been this. doing this way. Oh, yeah, no, she's no, yeah. Yeah, no. You know, so, so um, I do want to say that. Uh, so make sure we like it. You know what? I, and I, you know, to all our haters, if you don't like what you see, press the mad face. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I tell you, know, I, be, I was, I was going through that whole hate situation, and I just tell people like this. Honestly, if you really think about it, we have one life to live, and would you rather spend your time dealing with somebody you don't like, or would you rather spend your time on doing something that's gonna make you happy? Because no one ever said. The day, the time, and how we're going to leave this earth. One thing for sure we do know is we all leaving this earth. And I'm not spending my time with nobody bullshit because I don't have time for it. And I, I just tell people, you don't like me, baby. Okay, you don't like me. There's nothing I can do about that. Don't waste your time on me because I ain't worth it. I really ain't worth it. Life is too short. You could go to the store and may not ever come back. Your mama could go to the store and may not ever come back. You spent all that time wasting on me to tell me okay. you don't like me and all this. You could have told your mama I love you before she walked out the door. And now you never had that chance to say that. Don't waste your time on somebody you don't like. People I don't like, I don't fuck with them. I don't see them. I breathe them. When they even try to say, oh, hi, I'm sorry. Boo, I'm done with that ass. Don't, I don't cross people. I let them cross me. Oh, I don't I fuck a friendship. And I've been like that. I don't need shit from nobody. I always, I've always, i been a working hard man, working drag queen motherfucker for a long motherfucking time. And I don't ask people for shit. I put on these motherfucking wigs and I go out there and I work and I roll and I do whatever I got to do to pay my fucking bills so I don't ask the motherfucker for shit. And that's just the man to me. Fuck the drag bullshit and all that other bullshit I don't have time for. Baby, I got bills and family to worry about. Argue with some motherfucker. Baby, you don't like me? Go on the move, fucking rocks. And if I don't like you, I don't fuck with you. That, that's why I love Cardi B. Bodak Yellow, I swear, that has been my motto forever. And there's people who can tell you, Morgan McMichaels, because she's a perfect person. Me and her didn't talk for a while. I gave her the silent treatment for two motherfucking years. I didn't say nothing to her. I wouldn't breathe nothing to her. It was nothing. And she said, bitch, that was the worst feeling ever. Knowing that we so damn cool and I'm so damn happy and I'm happy with everybody but your ass and the tension is so thick because I don't breathe you and there's nothing you can say to break me in a conversation. When we all in a conversation, you say something, I never comment. I act like I didn't even hear that. Hello. That'll burn somebody ass up. So I know. Hello. Leave it alone. If you don't like what we doing Hello. on here, just move on. So you know what? And we got jazz right here. And I, oh, I kind of went in, Jazz. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with the judge, baby. I'm with it. <laughs> it just, that, that irritates me, though. We have, this, we have this thing called keyword of the day. So, 
So while you are in your mode, let me just add this. <coughs> where I make the statement, and I let the folks know what it means. And what you're saying right now to me, if I had that situation where I got somebody in my face that I don't like, and you're giving me all this extra on you and your emotions, it's not that deep, girl. Jump. Right. Hashtag, girl, jump. Because you was too far gone, girl. I don't got time for you. You need to go ahead right. and that building. Yeah. Me, girl, go by. I'm just like, if you don't... If you don't like me, you don't like me. Yeah, exactly. Now, after that, that's that. And there's nothing else. Okay, fine and dandy. You know, that's just like with friendship. I don't cross them. You have to cross me for us not to be friends. Hello? Because I don't want nothing from you. I don't be jealous of what... Yeah. Yeah, girl, John. I've never been jealous of nothing my friends had. None of that. So I never wanted nothing that they had, because if I wanted them, I could work hard and get them a damn self. I've been working since I was 16 years old. Uh-huh. So I don't, or 14, when I was a paper boy for a couple of days. It didn't work out good, but oh well. But, um, <laughs> you know, I just don't need, uh, I was a paper boy. <laughs> Hello, but you worked. I did hey, work. Hey, look at you. I did. It worked for like two days, but I worked. I got a little... Eleven dollar thirteen cent check, I think. Hmm. But you know, I don't know. People are crazy. I don't have time for it. I'm having fun with my life, and other people don't get that. So, um, talking about not having fun. Since you don't have time, <laughs> what do you do in the time when you're not being bothered with folks? When you at home by yourself and you chilling, or you with some family that you are, you do have time for. It. What about your close friends and stuff like that? What do you be normally doing? Um, well, I do a lot of eating with my friends and family, um, and smoke a lot of weed, of course. <laughs> that's with my friends, and about two of my cousins, my younger cousins, that's, we only two that smoke in the family. Um, other than that, I'm really at home just sewing something or writing something or something, and on Instagram Live, I really smoke when I'm on Instagram Live when I'm at home. Other than that, I don't smoke. Because I'm so used to smoking with people in my house, and now that I'm so, like, right, by right, myself, right. and my friends have jobs, and everybody's hours is so different, the only time I smoke is when I'm on Instagram all the time. Girl, but other than I that, I just chill. Yeah, oh, I love a good blunt section. And that, if it's a day I'm off for something, or if it's a nice sunny day, I love to get in my car and just cruise up the highway, play some music, and... You know, maybe go by a mall and see what's going on. Just to get out. I like to get out. I like to drive. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I like to see what's I going agree. on with, out there. Different cities and stuff. Different people. Get my jish. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, would you do, uh, if there was to call you back for our All-Stars, would you do RuPaul again? Yeah. Because I had a wonderful, I had a yeah. wonderful time on the show. I had a blast being on the show. It was so much fun. So much so fun. Does that answer, so does that answer my question to, to say next? Have you been asked already or no? No, yet? I haven't even heard anything about a four yet. They haven't said anything to me about a four. Okay. I think you should. I mean, I think, I mean, you're, you're, you're well known. You're yeah. You're star without RuPaul. Yeah, that's crazy. You know your yeah. book, your hashtag, we have a hashtag, booked and busy. Your hashtag, <laughs> busy. So, I, I don't see why not. And oh, my God, you know, that is crazy. Uh, I would love to see you on there again. I'm right. I would love to go back on there as well, because I had a good time and everything about it. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was really fun. I would go back on there. I, they haven't said anything to me about it. The only thing I do know anything about any of the seasons is that they did sign for a couple of more seasons for regular Drag Race and All-Stars, but I haven't heard anything about something coming up. It's just all, like, speculations and stuff, but I haven't heard nothing yet. I know that's right. Hashtag multiple bags. Hashtag multiple bags for Miss Jazz. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm praying about it. I'm praying about it. Wait, do you cook jazz? You just look like you can cook I do. <laughs> Everything. You know how I really like. I really like. You know what? It's, be, it's between uh, a pot roast and or um, pork chops, either fried or uh, 
it a fried or smothered. And I like greens and uh, macaroni and cheese and potato salad, mashed potatoes and corn and different oh, type of rice and stuff and uh, cornbread. I like, you know, and sometimes when I cook, I like to make a lot of sides, like yams and there's too much size because instead of having the same old stuff, I'd rather have the same meat and I could just change the size. And you know what? I love that. You know why? Because I just eat. I I I I just eat. I don't eat beef or pork. Okay. So well, I we got we can do turkey chops. They can have turkey chops. Yeah. Those are good. Oh, I fry those yeah. up too. Wait 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 wait! Don't don't don't! What she said me without what? saying you're gonna do it. I'm about to eat it. <laughs> she, said, she said now. You heard what she's saying, folks. Now listen, Cameron. <laughs> my bro, you was sleeping. She said we can do this. So Cook for us, we can. Because I get excited, I make my way. What time is it? Okay, where where are you guys located? New York, right? I'm going to be there for DragCon. I'm going to be out there for DragCon. You gotta be out. Okay, so we're in North Carolina now, but I'm from Jersey. He's from uh, but well, he, he raised. He was raised in New York. So so um. We'll be down there. I, we're actually going to be, we've been booked to host, uh, I mean, booked for the uh, New York Gay Pride Parade. Oh, word. Okay. Yeah, so we'll be out there for the Pride Parade and stuff like that. So, so you know, and, and like I said, I'm in from Jersey, so I'm out there all the time. So just let me know. We'll keep in contact. I got your information. You got my okay, information. yeah, for sure. Even yeah. if I had to come to Jersey, I'll come to Jersey. Because i never been to Jersey and I always wanted to come. So it'll be fine by right, me so to come to come. Jersey. Let's come and we'll, we'll yeah. turn up there. Yeah, we'll cook. figure it out. I'll cook for you, baby, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna cook for me. I'm gonna get a biscuit. <laughs> 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 Alright, so what else you got going on? Oh, thank you. So, so tell me, what's next for you? What, what, what do you, I mean, I, I heard you talking about you're gonna do uh, a couple of these live shows, but uh, is, that, is that what you're working on next? Like, What's going on? Well, I am doing, um, I did get asked to do a couple of more uh, stand-up comedy uh, uh, gigs, I guess. Um, I've been working with my friend Samantha uh, Yale. Excuse me. She's uh, worked with the Laugh Factory in Long Beach and in Hollywood. And I've done that a couple of times, and they liked me there, so they want me to come back. And I was offered or asked to do two more comedy shows coming up. Um, and that's just really been about it and just selling my t-shirts with just across it, you know, just everybody be happy with life and, you know, with themselves uh -huh. and so that's what it's really about. But, you know, once you understand yourself and love yourself, you get your jish. <laughs> then you tell everybody to get your jish. So that I'm going to get a plate and a t-shirt. That's what I heard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you said? Hello. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, baby, I'll do that for you. <laughs> That's so dope. I'll live for you. you oh, thank you. Dope, dope, dope. They see you off, off the screen. Now, mind you, you know, we watch your YouTube, Instagram, and everything else. Mm -hmm. I like to have you right here, and you are exactly what you portray on TV. is everything. Oh, what thank you. I, I, I'm, so I'm just me. Queen. Oh, thank yeah. you. I, I, I'm, I'm just me. I've always been who I am. I've always been accepting of who I am. And, you know, I love it. Now, I hate to be the one. No, go ahead. But you did tell me you're open to everything, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Good night, heaven. Um, and, and, and Good night, baby. Because this is a topic that people have been hitting us up with uh, as far as when uh, about you and stuff like that they want to know what your standpoint on is with this whole uh rupaul controversy thing with the whole trans being dragged and stuff like that how did you feel about um getting it you know with, with, with that do you feel like it's did you understand what she because i i feel like i understand what she was saying mm -hmm. it may have been taken out of context mm -hmm. but um i also understand why it was taken out of content if that makes any sense yeah yeah and see i see i'm, I'm like you it's like you see both sides of the story but me right. honestly i don't see a problem because when i was growing up in drag i performed with everybody there was men women kings drag kings drag queens 
transsexuals. But when I do shows to this day, it's still a drag show. So no matter how you live your life outside of this club, but when you're in the show and it's called a drag show and you come through the curtains, at that point, you're some type of drag. Drag king, drag king, bio queen, you're something. You know, so to me, I don't ever see a problem with it because even in the shows, a lot of the drag queens look up to the transsexuals because we still learning how to be extra fishy because of them. You know, that's why some of us be like, damn, she damn near naked because when we working with the girls who, you know, serving all that jish, we want to be like them or we want to, we idolize them. You know, they sexy, they beautiful and they go out there with the bodies and all that and really walk around and make $300 where you have us who padded and we sickening, but we got to do flips and car wheels and back overs because we're not the sexy girl. So we come out sexy, right. you know, it help us. But overall, we still doing drag. They still drag. They still have on they fake diamonds. Drag. They still high glue E6000 X stuff on just like we do. You know, we all got on hair pieces, eyelashes. We don't look like that when we wake up. Hello? <laughs> so I, I don't see a problem with it. I don't see a problem with it at all. And I honestly and I honestly feel like when you have shows, when you have a variety, it always brings more people out. You know, because everybody likes something different. So when you have a mixture of people in the show, that's just going to bring out a more mixture of people to see the show and enjoy the show, I feel. but I agree as well. Hopefully they, you know, hopefully they it's raised enough of uh, talk in a in a media to where maybe they can do something where they could do a show, a spinoff or a special edition for the transsexuals or for drag kings or whoever, you know, so everybody can get a piece of the pie. What's so interesting? She gives valid points, valid reasons, and at the very end of it, still says, and then you can still do this. And I think that would be dope because then now you're turning your your your, your so empire dope. to a franchise where you're giving a lot of little outlets because there is a yeah. lot of male entertainers and stuff. Yeah. Like, to be honest with you, I'm a male entertainer in the drag world. Okay. Bro, okay. you know what I'm saying? And and you know to say you know where's and, and it's not to say that you guys don't have no opportunity, but where's you know I I would love an opportunity like that as mm -hmm. well. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I would love to be, you know, because we're all performing. Yeah. We yeah, you are. Being booked. Hashtag May 6th being booked. That part. <laughs> <laughs> that part. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Damien. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. RuPaul Drag Race. Yeah. yeah, we should start. You don't need to capitalize on that, Jack. Okay, well, I'm, you know, hey. But yeah, and you know, because I have a lot of uh, king performers, you know, guys who perform or whatever, and, and drag kings, and it's all, it's to me, I it just feel like it's more, it's always harder for you guys to get the recognition you guys deserve, you know, because it's, so, it's such a, a male to transformation to a woman world with the drag until when the males come out, it always seems like it's always harder and you guys always seem like you guys are working so much harder. And I'm like, I don't right. get it. Like, I see some male performers who put on better shows than drag queens. And right. even, you know, they you do know way better than some of the drag queens. And I'm like, am I the only one? I know I don't smoke four blunts. But I know I ain't the only one up in here that's seen this. You know what I mean? Like, this oh, boy no, just no, shut no, this no, number down. No I do. Early. No shade, I just, I, and, and no shade to nobody, but I was just booked somewhere, and not to say where, but I was just booked somewhere, and, you know, I, I don't have no crap or nothing. I was outshining people that have, that are, you know, Mr. This and Mrs. That and different things like that, and it's just like, well, why? I'm just going to say, this is my brother did his thing. <laughs> the king's husband was the king. No, but you're right, though, because we do got to do that extra. And you know what I've noticed in performing is they want to see, not to have the best thing, but they want to see sex when it comes to men. They do. They want you almost have to be butt-ass or naked. I realized I, I, I got in more tips being more Magic Mike than being King Rome. Yep, and I, I think that is so wrong. I think that is so wrong. 
I mean, personally, I would rather for a man to come out singing some damn Luther Vandross or Gerald LeVert or some damn Neo or one of them, you know, good old grooving type of just, you would get all my money. I don't care about all that, you being naked, because that, when, a lot of times when a lot of guys come out and they have naked, I mean, if you're going to be a guy, just give me the roll of one. I don't want you out there twisting and twirling. You know what I mean? Say that for the girl. Say that for the bitch that's coming behind you. Come out there and kind of have some masculinity to you. I mean, you could be fish in the bed or fish after the scene. But I don't want to see you in something that I could put on in a wig and go out there and just, you know, I don't want to see that. And a lot of it now is on the lips all fishy. It's like, you done killing me with it. You can't come out doing Kitty Lattimore and you got on Shantae Moore outfit. That ain't, oh. I don't want to see. We just died. Hold on. I'm going to tip you. <laughs> I'm going to tip you because you're on stage, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, you know, I already see a guy really nice and, you know, put together on stage and get, you know, the knowledge, the, the, the uh, appreciation he should get, like, when a girl come out in a gown. Why can't a guy come out in a nice suit and serenade us and we go up for that? Yeah. I mean, I go up for it, so I go I in. I have a slow number. I have a slow, not a slow number, but I have a slower number, and then I have a tank number, and I'm, they always want me to perform the tank number versus the other number because they know that with the tank number, it's you get new. No clothes. Like yeah, but you right. know, that's where you have to. Start training people to accept you for doing other things. You have to start getting out of that. But you never can stop making your money. But if you're starting to get tired of doing the same thing, you have to start getting them to appreciate you for doing other things as well. I agree. And that's just being an entertainer because... Yeah, because it's really hard. Once they label you as or know you or label you as one type of performer, baby, you are wrapped from there. Because they're going to know you right. pretty much as that one. And they're going to always expect for you to do something. And it, if you don't do it, they're going to be like, oh. But if you give them that impression, you never know what they're going to do. But every time this person comes on stage, they're going to be good and they're going to turn it. You won't have that problem. That's what you always tell me. You're right. You're right. You ain't lying. That's what you say. Yeah. Crystal S. Ward says, yes, mama, I'm here. Hey, baby. <laughs> you have a lot of fans up here. Everybody's going in for you. I'm so excited. Again, thank you. Let everybody know where they can find you at again on social media. On uh, Instagram all the time, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> uh, my name is Miss Jasmine Masters, MS Jasmine Masters. And um, pretty much that's it. I'm always on Instagram. Always live on Instagram. I love Instagram. That's my jish. <laughs> we chill over there on Instagram. We talk about some real deep stuff over there. And we, you know, we really make it happen over there on Instagram. It really goes down. And I didn't know that a lot of things I say really help people and touch people. But I get a lot of messages from people um, telling me, you know, that I really help them out. I'm not trying to because I didn't go to school for this shit. I just tell them things that I feel and things I would go through and things I wouldn't go through. You know what I mean? You're relatable. Yeah, that's what a lot of people do tell me. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people tell me that. You're just talking, and that's what people draw into. And that's yeah. what draw me into you. When I, you know, you know, when I first found out who you were, I was just like, wow, like she is real. Cause you feel me? Every time I see her, it's this. Yeah, I'm the same person every day. <laughs> Hello. Cause I don't, I don't be into the TVs and nothing like. He gotta bring me something real extra for me to get okay. into. He shows me you pun bun, and I've been on it ever since. I'm not going nowhere. I am a fan. I'm coming to get my biscuit and my pork chop. Yes, baby. The show is. I'll tear them up for you. With it. And you said mashed potatoes, too. I'm Whatever you want, I'll cook Jackson. it. Whatever y'all want, I'll cook it. Quan Jackson said uh, that Bob and with a, a heart face emoji. Yeah, my little Dora the Explorer. <laughs> I got over like, she was like 19 dollars at the Slauson Swap Meet. <laughs> 
Hello. We got hey, hashtag Jasmine. Um, Mask is up here. <laughs> <laughs> she my this my whole girl. I love my Dora. I love Dora. Don't nobody understand. And now they want you to cook. They said they need those those uh turkey turkey chops. Okay, baby, I throw down in that kitchen. Don't play. I have to know how to eat because I love food too much. And my mom taught me years. Oh, I was so young because she got tired of cooking for me. I always wanted something to eat, so she always she was like, "No, get in this kitchen." And let me show you what to do so you cook your own. And I started, like, when I was nine years old. But I know how to cook in that kitchen. Yeah, just took it all. Guys, Jasmine Masters. No, no, what? Jasmine motherfucking Masters. In the motherfucking building has been here, has been amazing. I thank you so, 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 so much for coming on. Oh, you know, thank you. Your heart out for Anytime. With us, for conversing. You're yeah. dope. You're really, really dope. Yeah, you know what? I have booked myself tonight, right? Uh, it was out of the last minute. I was supposed to do bingo somewhere down the street from my house. And um, when I found out you was in New York or the time was different, I had to send Mariah to the gig so I could do this gig. I was like, well, I'm going to do this because uh -oh. I had already committed to you guys. So uh, I'm glad I did do this, though. Thank you so much. Anytime. You've been amazing. Thanks for Before having me. And, and on oh, thank show. you. You have been amazing. I'm so thankful. Wow. Oh, thanks for having me. This has been a lot of fun. But you got you got some new friends now, so don't don't. I, I'm waiting for my turkey chops now. Hey Reggie, okay, I could. And you know what? My friend Reggie is on right now, and his mama makes the best dressing ever. If you want to call it dressing, you want to call it stuffing, I don't give a fuck. His mama makes the well, best. I both of to come okay. <laughs> I told him. To I told him to tell his mama when I come back to town, I want a whole big ass pan of dressing to myself. No, we want a whole pan. Trust it. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, Reg, ready to do hair and makeup for the girls at the pageants, continent on stuff. Reggie Howes, that's my home. Reggie, I need you to add me. Add me on Facebook, Reggie. Okay. <laughs> Stop playing, Reggie. We will find you. Okay. <laughs> hey, Miss Claude Edgar. I think that sounds about right. That sounds good to me. Yeah. That sounds good, baby. That sounds good, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. This has been great. I want to have you again. We got a lot of big things coming on. Okay. Revamping and different things. So I'll keep in contact. We'll talk and we'll have you back on. Okay, baby. And we'll do. We'll see you. Yes, you got my info. Stay in touch. I will. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for having me. Bye, you guys. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. -bye. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> hey, Jill. I'm back, Jill. Okay, that interview was fun. Did y'all like that? Hey, Jill. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Jill. Okay, I did it just, ah, that's me being me, just, but you know what, just about to get out the motherfucking shit. <laughs> I'm about to get off this Dora and this Explorer because it's hot as hell. Eight o'clock, the show starts at 10. Uh-uh, I ain't standing drag, no two extra hours. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I'm gonna get out this shit. I would do all stars if they ask me, love. Uh oh, excuse me, I love you too. 
them burritos from Ramona's. I had two big old juicy burritos. Woo! Well, what you say? I can't even see. Oh, thank you, babe. If they call me for All Stars, I would definitely do it. If they call me, I would definitely do it. I haven't heard nothing yet, so who knows? I'm thinking it's going to be like another year or two away. Because they just did this one. I know, I'm thinking the same too. Fuck this wig, but I can't be on T I can't be on I can't do this. <laughs> Baby, I have to take this off. Let me tell you, when I go out, when I'm in the dressing room and they say, Girl, let's go get something to drink or well when I did drink or let's go smoke, baby, before I have to walk out, I am always in some type of hair and some type of shoe. I don't walk around flip flops, I don't walk around sneakers. I have to have on some hair, eyelashes. I have to be done for me to be walking out. I just can't walk. I just can't. I just cannot. I, cannot. <laughs> I don't know why. I just have to have on a shoe. I just can't. I just, I tried it. I just feel so uncomfortable. And it had to be like, like, and I just, it's hard. And they always say, girl, we just bitch. I, I, let me put on something. You know, like we be fully painted and we got these little stockings on our head to keep our wigs down or pull our face back or something. And they talking about, let's go out there and let's... Do... No, I'm not about to do that. Uh -uh. Hold on, bitch. Let me, put some wig... Let me put a wig on my head. And when it comes to wig, it comes to shoes. I'm not walking outside in a wig and no tennis shoes. I don't want to do that. Uh-uh. And it's not raining too, no, bitch. I want to put on... A pop. I can have on my makeup moo moo and all that, but bitch, you're gonna see a gilder and some pumps on his feet. And I have always been like that. I don't know why. I just can't. <clears throat> I just fuck I just could not. And they kiki's offer me every time because I'd be like, bitch, I know I can't do that. Start without me, cause bitch, I ain't doing this. I'm at home, Chitoni, what you doing? Bitch, I'm in drag. But I do want to go out tonight, Tony, because I'm kind of, I'm not sad, but let me tell you what's going on with me, Tony. I want to be in a relationship. Shit. Because you know what happened to me two times in a row, Tony? Bitch, I held on to my pillow. And you know what song I've been listening to? Selena Johnson got this song. I think it's called I Still Do. <clears throat> and I think it's on her latest CD. I'm not sure because I just downloaded all her shit. But um, it's a hot ass song. And it's just saying like, you know, baby, if I haven't acted like I love you or want you, I still do. I still want you the first day I met you, the first time I made love to you, the first time we said I do. And I'm like, oh, shit. So that has been, I've been playing that on repeat because the song is so motherfucking bad to me. So I've been busting that out. So, you know, I just had to be like, ugh. I don't know, Jim. So that's what it was. You want to be a one too? <laughs> Okay, I got on my little patty door here. But you know what? Um, is Tony new CD out? I need to get it. I heard it was good. I'm glad. Tony need to come back. I need some new shit to pull out. So I can be a little skimpy tease. Baby, I meet people all the time. Because I work all the time. i just been blessed to be off all this week pretty much. I don't know how I've been escaping it, but I've been real good. But going out all the time, it just, baby, uh-uh. When you work every night, and you in a club every night, when it's time to go out, you be like, bitch, I don't want to go out. 
I'll text you and see. And if it is, you still want to hit the streets. That sounds like we're going to go ho ho. Well, we do. I'm not going to drag, though. I'm taking this shit off because I got on a lot of foundation. Well, press powder. Because <clears throat> I ain't put on nothing. Baby, I took through that powder and I smeared that shit on real quick and threw that hot pink blush on his cheeks. I, I threw a little light up in there, baby. A little gold in his nose and that eyelid is full of gold. It's one color. If you really need to know. Chris, no, Tony don't feel like lounging tonight. Tony feel like being a whore tonight. But wait, Tony, what time are you thinking about going out? Tell me that so I can know. Because I will go out, bitch. I would definitely go out tonight. Because I don't have nothing to do. And, bitch, I'm off like a motherfucker. I don't take care of this today. I have nothing to do tomorrow unless I got to host this um Viewing party. If not, I'm going to host a viewing party right here in my motherfucking living room. But I do got to finish packing up for my trip on, a, I think I leave Friday morning. Home with Tony. <laughs> Where are we hitting it to, Jizz? That's what I'm saying. Tony single, baby. Tony, I got somebody interested, bitch. You want to go live for five minutes try to sell yourself? I mean, hey, might as well. Do you want to go live, Tony, so he can see you, bitch? Because you are nice. What you want to do, Tony? Tony got a job. Tony take care of himself. He wash thine ass. Baby, I meet all, all my friends. I don't call y'all fans. Y'all my friends. I meet everybody who want to meet me. I know we're going to WeHo. What I'm saying, I'm smoking marijuana. What I'm saying, bitch, what time? Mariah done performing over there at the Revolver. And it's Wednesday. I don't know what goes on, you know, throughout the week. Because I'm always... In San Diego, and if I'm not in Dago, <clears throat> I'm at Long Beach, so I don't know what's going on. Let me go live with my Jill. I like going live with this bitch, because she watches. I gotta find something. Hey, Jill. What you thinking about going live for, you sucking on this sucker? Fucking sucker. I dig sucker. A this, dick sucker. I mean ice cream. Well, just as I thought, trash. <laughs> okay, so look. <laughs> okay, now look. What time do the show start? Do you know at Revolver? Show starts around 10. So let's meet up like around 10. What is this? Let's meet up around 10 at Revolver. That's about, that doesn't even no time to find something to wear. Yeah. I have some time to find I can find something to wear. Is it cold outside? No. I don't know what I want to wear, though. That's why Shoes. I got time. Shoes. You said what? Shoes. <laughs> that part. Don't, you wear them, don't you wear them flip flops? Baby, you know I would. No, I don't like wearing flip flops going to the club. Mm -hmm. Somebody step on these feet, bitch. I'm ready to fight. <laughs> um, okay, so 10 o'clock, Revolver. And then what we going to do after the show? Then we'll boot around to everywhere else. We'll go to Mickey's. We'll go to Flaming Saddles. We'll go to the Abbey, Chapel. Okay. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just hop around. Okay, that works. Bitch. I'm down with you. What, you, bitch? Better, you better not change your mind. Bitch, I'm about to get off here now and get ready because this bitch is on a countdown for 15 seconds. So you let okay. me close out. I can start getting dying ass and walk off. 
Thank y'all for coming up. I love y'all so much. And I will see y'all in the morning because I'm going.